Because <laughs> he knows that it's me they've been coming to see. So forget about life. For hey, before Lanny gets up here, i got a quick one for you. Is this song... This song one of the most having drinks two songs of all time right here? What do you think? No bread in my jersey, man. What are you doing here? <laughs> Alright, I got a question for you. Who out there who likes the who doesn't like Piano Man? Anybody out there not like Piano Man? Darnell, good morning. Heath, Eric, good morning. Mike. Is there anybody out there listening right now, watching right now, that does not like Piano Man? What are you doing? You gonna be weird today? <laughs> this is what you're gonna do back here today? Heath Harper's in, good morning, Heath. Yeah, I know, Piano Man, great song for sure. I miss it. Anybody not like Piano Man? Serious Good morning, Rex. All right, Lady, got anything? Hey, Lady, show the people back there what I want you to show them. Show them. All right, this is what we gave out yesterday at Coach's Tavern from the shop in Broad Ripple in Carmel. It's not just a yellow shirt, by the way. Hey, can you show the other side? What are you doing? Oh, no, yeah. Oh. There it is, right there. There it is. You know, there's a dude last night named Chris Munn who also watches in the morning. I, the Pacers' um, security made him take it off last night. Is that ridiculous or what? Listen, this is my promotional device right here. Uh-oh. Patches. Patches. Papa used to tease him about it. Goes deep down this is not stroking. Deep, this is patches. Papa was a great old man. <laughs> Oh. Good morning, No Lay! Hip Bugger! JMV should have played. We didn't start the fire to get the juices flowing, man. I can't do that. Um, you want to hear something else? No patches? All right. Wow. Uh, Darnell asks JMV, what's up between 6 and 7 on your show? Or are you not live on the air? Some days I am, and some days I'm not. Just depends if there's a Pacer game like yesterday I was. I will be. What What are you doing? You well, we can't have this. You, you change us. Oh, I don't want to hear Sarah McLaughlin. Come on. Come on. Um, Matt Rule, college guy, Baylor. Hey, there are going to be some curveballs in this coaching surge. I mean, just for God's sake, stop with the curve. I mean, just. Uh, I, you know what? Listen, do I trust Chris Ballard? Yeah, because first of all, it's really early, I guess, not to. But sometimes, sometimes you can kind of out. I don't know. Just Matt Rule. Hey, look what he did at Temple. I don't give two craps what he did at Temple, to be honest. I know everybody has to start somewhere, but I'm sorry. I'm unimpressed with that. I'm unimpressed with it. I should be impressed. Uh, hey, Ryland. This is Derek. Derek Martin's here. Ryland says hello. Yeah, hello, Lenny says. Good morning, Emax. Uh, I think my kid's fourth grade hoops team shoots better. One of 18 from three-point range last night. Hey, and the Miles Turner injury, if that teaches us all anything, right? You know what it teaches us? Even if you can dunk like Miles Turner can, three is better than two. Stop messing around. Stop messing around with the two-point crap. Three is better than two. Actually, I'm just joking. That could end up being that apparatus he had on that that uh, arm last night didn't look any good at all. One of 18, though. One of 18 from three. One of 18 and 13 assists. That's not going to win you too many games. Yes. I think I see Brianna. You see Brianna? It's her car. Oh, you might. It you just her, might. It is her car. Uh, Jason Parker asked this. JMV, what's up? The Pacers going to make a deadline deal to upgrade defensively. Um, I'm okay if they don't, but they very well, Jason, might end up making some type of deal. Mark, I, w I wouldn't Mark, say Mark, Mark, I wouldn't Mark, say that Mark, Kevin Pritchard's Mark. not going to do it. Good morning, Andy. Good morning, Chad. Um, Andy writes this, MSU, not as good as we thought they were. They are going through, they've survived Rutgers last night after losing at Ohio State. Um, they're certainly not playing at the level that we thought. I think they're still very talented, though. Yes. 
Yeah, but yeah, they're not playing at that level at all. Uh, JMV sucks right behind us here. Shopping Broad Ripple. Um, so Jennifer, let them interview as many as possible and they already have a good idea who they want. And you're probably right about that. I mean, it just may be, who knows what it is. Yeah. Somebody may know somebody. I just, yeah, you're probably, they probably already know who they want. We'll see. I should find out something a little bit later on today. So hopefully I can pass that along to you. I just, um, I'm not, I'm not real. I don't know. I don't know. Really, I'm the wrong guy to ask because I'm pretty unimpressed by everybody but in this cycle. But that's all right. As long as it works out, it works out for Colts fans, right? I completely understand that. Good morning, Jeremy Goat. I'm glad you're watching. From EMAG, so are we that desperate that we need to take a college coach? I don't know if he's actually getting a sniff or not. Um, I don't want to rip on the guy's resume. I mean, you went at Temple. You take that job at Baylor. Um, it just seems... It seems a little bit odd, but that's what they do, huh? That's what they do from Anthony. Need that shirt in South Carolina. I'm going to the Pacers-Hornets game in February. Um, you got to get them. I think in a remote is where you can get them, too. Uh, Heath writes this. Since no coaching hire has been made, are they waiting on someone whose team is still playing? They might be. But I, I said yesterday, and this really doesn't make sense, and, and listen, I don't have a lot of information to go on. But I was told yesterday, initially, they said that McDaniels was at the top of the list. And then yesterday, and I don't know if it was McDaniels or if it was the Colts, somebody had said that maybe they had cooled on one another. I, listen, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, I got more for you at 3 o'clock today. Sitting here right now, I don't know. Uh, that's from Tim. More playing time for Sabonis with Turner out. Not sure that's a bad thing. Now, you know what I feel about Sabonis? My man got screwed on whistles again yesterday. Does he ever get a call? Ever ever get a call love it an elevator do you have anything you want to say you're sitting right up here what do you want to say good morning mike huh you got any questions you want to ask no don't make dumb sounds ask a question come on sabonis never gets a call give us thumbs huh give us thumbs you want thumbs well tell them to give you thumbs then laney wants thumbs you guys got some thumbs but you can look, this is how they go, thumbs, thumbs from Lanny. Hey, quick remark about the coaching search. Nobody nobody knows, and just because I say I'm not in love with it doesn't mean that it's not smart, not going to work. So I'm just not in love with a lot right now. So I'm in love in an elevator is what I am. Oh, all the thumbs, you see them floating? <laughs> hey, look, Jennifer says nine days until your birthday. We're not going to have a birthday this year. Nothing. Hey, Indiana State won an overtime last night. Congratulations over you and I. Uh, Jeremy Goad wants to know, are you going to the alumni game? There's an alumni game and I'm not playing in it? How the hell does that happen? I need to own that alumni game. The 27th? I might think about that. Nobody's asked me to play, Go. Do you believe that? How am I not in the alumni game? What the hell's going on there? Um... Mike McFarland asked this, what's the worst choice for the Colts could make, the head coach? Don't say Gregson. <laughs> I, I, you know what, John, man, I don't know, brother. I mean, I wish I did. I'm just so unimpressed. I'm just going to have to see it, you know. I'm going to have to see it, and I'm just going to have to I'm gonna have to see what goes on. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Ricky Clark's in. Jeff Seltzer didn't show up last night. Way to go. Scott is in, too. More questions, you guys. We'll take some more before we have to go in. Uh, that's from John. This is crazy talk, but if Belichick is done at New England, does Ballard give him a sniff? Belichick's not going to be done at New England, though. He's staying. Um, Eastern Bloomfield, the 19th at Glover Gym in Bloomfield. Yep. Bloomfield's got Lenton this weekend, right, Heath? Uh, Tim writes, better yet, trade luck to the Redskins. Hey, how many people out there right now, honestly, how many people out, out there right now think everything is okay with luck? With luck moving forward. For example, you believe what Jim Mercy says. How many of you agree with that? How many of you give it a thumbs down? Thumbs down for luck for the future. I'm just kind of curious where your head might be on that. Tell me. Uh, Jeremy, not for the old guys, just like a reunion thing for the alumni. Ah, I got you. Yeah, you know what? I still might show up. Uh, Scott Yanni says Bogdanovich is killing the Pacers from outside 12 feet. You know what, Scott? 
If he doesn't knock down threes, he's useless. There's just, that's the way that it is. It's kind of like me. It's just like me. Rick Clark says thumbs down on luck. Thumbs down from Seltzer. You can send the thumbs. Send some thumbs down for Lanny. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, in Bogdanovich, if he doesn't hit threes, he's useless out there. Um, what else we got here? We got a card. Let's see if some people can see this. Do you recognize this pacer? It's Bass Ackwards here. What are you doing? Huh? Here. Pooh Richardson. It's Pooh Richardson, yes. Ray Clark goes thumbs down. Um, what are you doing? They can't see it if you get it too close. Oh. Yeah, if you guys are asking why I have a Pooh Richardson card in here, I don't know. I just do. Uh, Jeremy Hall writes this, I'll feel much better when Lux starts throwing. He might already be throwing, man. I would expect him already to be throwing, honestly. I don't know that for sure, but that's my, that's what I would expect. And I would expect if things are going well, you're going to hear that they're going well. Hey, hey, listen, deep down inside, that's the first thing all these guys are going to ask. What about Andrew Luck? No matter what Chris Ballard says, that is going to be the first thing they ask. John, John's over Bogdanovich. Holy crap, what's happening here? Um, if he can't hit threes, he can't play. I agree. All right, can anybody guess who this is? Don't tell him, Laney. Don't tell him. What? Guess who this is singing. Well, this is not good. People can't guess if you tell them. She once was a part of Shalimar, and before Shalimar, she made appearances on Soul Train. The Soul Train line dances are still the best. This is so heavy. You know this? Put that down. Put that down. Ah, oh, dang it. Hey, you know what I feel like today? Anybody else? You feel like some White Castles today, Lainey? I feel like White Castle today. Anybody else feel like having some... I'm sorry, John Martin. I, you probably don't. <laughs> Anybody else feel like some White Castles today? I think I'm going to bring Tony Donahue some White Castles today. Time to go, bye-bye. Yes? We got to go? All right. Hey, more on a coaching search. I'm really hoping I got some more information for you later on today. Hold on. <laughs> hey, Lady, don't bang into that car over there, okay? okay Just don't don't open the door because we got somebody right next to us. Uh, I hope I got some coaching information for you. I think somebody from the Pacers is going to be on. And if it's not Sabonis, I'm going to be disappointed because I carry the flag for Sabonis here. Go ahead and bring more. Um, what's that? Rick Clark says the best place to get your trading cards is K&L cards on 135. Um, Lisa says White Castle equals more proof. God loves us. Woo! Chicken rings. White Castles. And Tony, we're going to be primed for a little show which today at 3. Woo! You guys are in. Matthew's in on that, too. Hey, by the way, because we're going to get snow and ice, right? Snow and ice coming up on Friday. I'm going to be at Brothers Downtown. Let's all, let's all get together with Coors Light on Friday before the Pacers and Cavaliers at Brothers and get stranded together. And we'll just stay at Brothers overnight and drink. Who's with me on that? Everybody? All right, continue. Mom. Let's just say, for example, luck is throwing right now. Do you think everything is okay or you're not buying anything? Okay or buying? Kurt says Karen White. That is a great guess. It is not Karen White. It is... From the Soul Train and Shalimar, Jody Watley. Jody Watley, Kurt, is the answer. But I like me some Karen White very much. All right, every morning after 8.30, drop off line sports. All right, I got you. Be quiet. They're going to fit. They're not going to come to your party. All right, we got to go, guys. Hey, have a great day. I'll talk to you today at 3. Keep answering those questions and or asking, and I'll answer them later on today, too. Robert says 100% he'll be back. <laughs> give, me those, uh, give me those answers to the questions, and then I'll uh, answer when I get back. Have a great day. This won't finish.